Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Kenyans should be worried of how cases against William Samuruto's allies are being dropped. According to my opinion, we must be very, very careful with the President William Ruto's government over its latest actions. I want to warn Kenyans that the rate at which Ruto's allies are being cleansed should worry law-abiding citizens. And I want to say that though some of these individuals may be innocent, the timing is wrong and it is sending out a wrong picture about this new administration. According to DPP, Nurdin Haji is working overtime to ensure that senior people who supported the president to get their names cleared so that they take up positions in the government of William Samoruto. I want to say that just like many Kenyans believe that these cases and charges are being dropped to ensure that the president's allies take up position that they have been nominated to take up. On Wednesday, for example, I want to just elaborate how this mess of Nurdin Haji might bring a lot of issues. The, D the DPP Nurdin Haji has dropped two cases. Former member of parliament of Malindi constituency Aisha Juma on corruption have been dropped. Former KPLC MD Ben Chumo has also got his corruption charges dropped over lack of enough evidence. And it is, I want to say that when you look at these issues, it is very unfortunate. And I want to say this is Nurdin Haji's mess. In fact, why is it that Nurdin Haji has come out to blame the DCI for not taking actions or maybe some files after investigations were not submitted with DPP. But again, I want to ask a simple question. If though we are being fooled, we as Kenyans, is that the files from DCI after investigations were submitted to DPP. By that time, when the action was needed toward persecution of these few individuals, no persecution was done. In fact, we, were all, we are also told that Linturi Mintika, who is the, uh, the former senator of Meru County, who is currently appointed by William Samuto as a cabinet minister of agriculture, his case also has been dropped and cleared. Then it's showing that these people whom their names are being cleared they are close allies to Deputy President William Ruto. Furthermore, I want you to understand that these people whom their names are being cleared, people like Linturi Mintika, people like Aisha Juma, people like um, the boss of, um, I want to say, people like former KPLC Managing Director Ben Chumo has also been cleared. But you see, my managing director of KPLC, Ben Chumo, has been appointed PS. Aisha Juma has been appointed a cabinet secretary of public service and gender. When it comes to Mintika Linturi, also he has been nominated as a cabinet secretary of agriculture. More of them, their names are being cleared. People like Rigadi Geshawa, 
whom their names were even reached a point of persecution, and he, would, he was told to return 200 million Kenyan shillings that he got not in accordance to law. What we are being told, that the cases are being dropped. Then I want to ask a simple question. What about these close allies of Asimio Ramoja? Is there any process that their names are going to be cleared? And in any case, their names are, be, are going to be cleared. What did this DPP and DCI wait for those long time period, uh, for those period of time? Because we are worried. We are shocked and we are surprised for listening to this news that these people, their cases are being dropped. The ladies and gentlemen, what is my point here? My point is Kenyans must be very careful with this current new government because as long as we are concerned, the direction that we are moving in is a, a terrible direction because this so-called close ally of Deputy President, uh, not Deputy President William Ruto, is bringing a lot of conversation across the Republic of Kenya. Why is it that even though, I want to say, even though their names might be innocent, why did they wait until this moment? It means it proves, it proves certain irregularities, some schemes that are being processed somewhere, and certain mess that is being brought by DCI and DPP. I want to say it as I close this video. It has reached a point that our country is no longer following the rules. It has reached a point that our countries, those who have uh, uh, broken the law, they are being cleared. Those who, are, uh, who killed, they are being cleared. Those who mismanage the public resources like Asha Juma, they are being declared uh, clean. People like Gadi Gashawa, they hired 20 companies that secured certain tenders and he never supplied, but he earned money. They are being cleared. Where are we going, we as Kenyans? Which direction are we taking? Because as far as we are concerned, the constitution is not working as far as we are concerned. So ladies and gentlemen, what are your thoughts? Drop your opinion at the comment section below. Otherwise, I want to appreciate you so much because of your great support. If you are a visitor, please do me a favor. Ensure that you subscribe to this channel. You put on the notification bell that when I upload my videos, you get notified. For those who are returning subscribers, I want to appreciate you so much. Saying thank you so much. God bless you. Bye-bye till we meet on another video.